What's up guys? It's Sydney and this is your 50 minute glutes and cardio workout. So grab your dumbbells and your water and let's get started. I'm so excited that you are here today for our glutes and cardio workout. Before we get started, make sure you take a second and subscribe to our channel so I know that you guys are using these workouts. It's our way of saying, hey, this community is liking what we're putting out. So make sure you click subscribe before you head out today. Also, make sure you've got your dumbbells and your water bottles out and ready. For me, I'm using 15, 20, 30, 40, and 50 pound dumbbells. We'll be doing things like glute bridges where you can go a little heavier. So if you have a 50 or if you have a couple 20s or a couple 15s, you can stack those up as well. So just grab heavier weights for your glute bridge motions. We're also gonna be doing things in the lighter end of the spectrum like lunges. And then if you wanna use the lighter weights for those, that's an option too, okay? So make sure you've got your sweat towel, your water, and your weights and give me a big thumbs up and we're gonna jump right into this warm up, all right? Okay, big wide stance. We're gonna start reaching up and over to work on just stretching out the hips a little bit. So take your left arm, shoot it up in the air, left hip out to the side in three, two, one. Here we go, reach and bring it back in. Okay, reach, engage your core, bring it back in. Good job. There you go, start your breathing. Great job, one more, and then we're gonna switch over to the other side, good job. Here we go, over and back in. Reach, shoot your hip at the same time. Good job. Let's go one more together. Good, and hands right here in the center. I want you to bend your knees just a little bit, you're gonna lift heel and heel, here we go. Just warming up the glutes a little bit. Keep a little bend in the knee. Keep the toe pointing forward. And you're thinking high heel, right? Squeezing right here on the glutes. Good, five, four, three, two, one. Good, let's take it back and squeeze. Lift up on your toes. Glutes and calves squeeze together. Good. From the side, make sure you're coming just straight up, not hyperextending your back, okay? Great job. Two more. Good, last one. Reach, 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 reach down to your toes. Let's go bent leg, straight leg here. Good job, stretch the hamstrings and the glutes. Good work. And now let's come on down to a plank position. Okay, let's open it up to the side and back into the middle. Let's just keep rotating here. Warm up your obliques. You're in the middle, warm up the middle and then on the side again. Great job, keep your hips high, your abs in. One more and then come back to the middle and let's walk it back into the top. All right, high kicks with your hamstrings. There you go, this should feel pretty good now. Got a good stretch already. We're gonna operate in supersets today, by the way. Okay, so two glute exercises and then two cardio exercises. Great job. All right, let's get started with your very first glute exercise. We've got a reverse lunge to Romanian deadlift. Lighter weights for me, okay? So I'm gonna take my leg back. We're gonna go lunge, up, deadlift, okay? Same side here. Are you ready? Come with me in seven seconds. Keep that same side and that back leg stays back. Ready? Two, one, let's go. Into a lunge, come up, lift, and back, down, good job. And I've got this forward hinge position the whole time, okay? So I'm leaning over my quad when I go down in the lunge. That keeps the focus on the glutes there as well. 
Great job. Got about 15 seconds left here. That's it. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Good. Your next move is a glute bridge, calf raise, and abduction. Take those dumbbells, put them down on the floor. Those are now your hand holders, okay? You're coming up top here. You're going to go calf raise, abduction, okay? Let's go in four, three, two, one. Here we go. Lift, open. And when you lift on those calves, I want you to squeeze your glutes in together. Good. So you're staying in the bridge the whole time. Almost there. Good job. Last half. Keep the tailbone tucked in. Good, especially when you come up on your toes. Squeeze, three, two, one, great job. And we're back to your lunge and deadlift. Now we're gonna switch front legs, okay? So now the front leg is my right for myself, okay? Back leg is back. So you're going lunge up, hinge down into a deadlift, okay? If you need to slow that down, that's totally fine. Let's go ahead. So lunge, up, deadlift. So your back leg is basically bending and then lifting straight. Good job. Take a little pause in the middle and come here if you need to. Hinge it, come back here and lunge, okay? That's a good modification. Keep your hips straight, good job. You've got four, three, two, one, rest, good. And we're back to your glute bridge. Calf raise, abduction. All right, here we go in two, one, and let's lift. Good, and when you take your knees out to the side, I want you to take your knees out and hips up. Okay, so there's a little upward pulse, and then a calf raise that's gonna hit the top of your hamstrings. Good, that's a different feeling than opening and letting them drop, right? I want you to open and lift, and then calf raise. Good job, three, two, one, one last round, here we go. You're gonna split this one in half, okay? So the first 20 seconds will be left leg out front. Okay, or 22 seconds. So let's start with the left leg out front. Halfway through, we'll switch. Ready? Let's go. Good job. There you go. Got about five, two, one. All right, let's switch and just keep going. Good, flat back, tight core. Almost there. Four, three, two, one. Rest, good job. Last round here. Glute bridge, calf raise, and open those knees up to the side, okay? Here we go. Three, two, one, and let's go. Open lift, calf raise. Good, this is a really good activation exercise for the front end of our workout. And as you calf raise, I still want you lifting, squeezing those glutes under. <sighs> 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 
almost there. 10 more seconds, come on. And then we'll go into some cardio. Let's go. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Beautiful job. Move those dumbbells out of the way. We're gonna hop right into the cardio. All right, we've got 30 seconds of work for the cardio. So we're gonna start with heel tap jacks, okay? Coming across here, tap and tap. Ready, let's go. If you wanna modify, you're down here. Same thing, intensity is the goal. Good job, good job. And if you wanna go a little bit more intense, you get lower and quicker. Okay, and those feet bounce the whole time. Let's go. Two, one, rest. Come on down to plank jacks. Nice and high. You're gonna go one, two, right here, okay? Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, in and out to modify. Take it touch, touch, okay? Good job. Stable abs. That's it, 10 seconds, speed it up, here we go. Four, three, two, one, beautiful. Come on up, 15 seconds, and we're back. Now we're gonna go toe taps, okay? Touch the toe, hardly any different, but mentally a different objective, okay? Hands out, here we go, three, two, one, Toe taps, let's go, up. There we go. Other arm is out to the side. Core stays tight. And you got 15 more seconds, let's go. Beautiful, you're doing great, eight, seven. Breathe, rest, good job. All right, we're back to plank jacks. Come on down. Here we go in five, three, two, one, and let's go. Keep the core strong. 15 more seconds. Good job, good job. Grind it out, you've got nine, eight, five, four, three, two, one, and beautiful, walk it back in. Last round, we're switching it up just a little bit, okay? One leg at a time. You're gonna go front, back, front, back, okay? So left, left. Right, right. Ready? Let's start with the left. Here we go. Front, back, switch. Front, back, switch. There we go. Whatever your rendition of this looks like, it's okay. Just give me the intensity. If you get off a little bit, do not worry. Not meant to be perfect, it's meant to be intense. Here we go. You've got seven, six, Two, one, rest, good job. And your last round of plank jacks. We're gonna go jack and pike. Looks like this. In and out, up and down. Okay, ready? Let's go in three, two, one. All right, let's get it. Jack, lift. And if you're modifying, step out, step up. And out and up. Okay, let's go. Thirteen seconds, come on, up. Beautiful, you've got five, four, two, one, and beautiful job, walk it back in. I know your calves are burning, or at least mine are. Woo. 45 seconds rest, grab some water. We do still have some of the black um, 34 ounce bottles. If you're interested, we've got a couple left. The link will be in the description. 
love these bottles. Keep water, so cold. All right, we're moving on walking Romanian deadlifts. Probably have never done this before. Slight rendition. I like to switch things up. You're gonna step. The front leg is always the leg with the weight, okay? So you're gonna step forward. That leg becomes your working leg. Hinge it up and down. Step, hinge. Step, hinge. Make sure you're not back here in your back leg. It's all front leg, okay? Let's go together in six seconds. We'll start there, walking Romanian deadlifts. Okay, two, one, 45 seconds, let's go. You can do this a couple different ways. Okay, you can make sure that you come all the way up in between, or if you feel good control, you can keep your legs or your back just a little bit bent. Okay, if you feel strong enough in your back to do that, let's go. Okay, if you feel a little fatigued in your back, stand all the way up in between each rep. Great job, you've got about 10 more seconds left. Two, one, rest, good job. Now we're down on the floor, heavy dumbbell for a glute bridge or a thruster, okay? Shoulders are down, heels are down, hips are going up in the air. Ready? Three, two, one, we're right here. Okay, halfway down, all the way up. And for me, I, I saw someone the other day say my hip bones are really hurting from the heavy weights that I'm putting on my hips when I do a glute bridge. For myself, my hip bones are here, my weight is more on my upper thigh, okay? Because I have the same problem. So if you can just shift it up a little bit, putting it more so right over your glutes, that'll help you out a lot. Good job. You've got eight, seven. Good job, two, one, rest and roll that dumbbell out of your way. You can just leave it right here to the side so when you come back, it's there. Okay, and we're back to your walking Romanian deadlifts. The front leg has the weight, okay? All right, here we go. Two, one, step it out, give the weight to that heel, and we're down. Think really maximizing that front glute. You reach it, you squeeze it, come on. Don't just go through the motions here. Give me good reps. Great job, 15 seconds. Four, three, two, one, rest. Good job, I'm gonna leave my dumbbells right there. We're back to your thruster. So come on down, shoulder blades are down. Weight is on your upper thigh. Two dumbbells or one, whatever you've got today that challenges you. Ready? Come on up. Let's go. Good. Take this one to breathe. Are you breathing with me? There you go. Good job. Maximize your efforts here. Again, squeeze the glutes together. Don't arch your low back up. Squeeze your glutes together, and then relax that squeeze a little bit. Together, relax. Together, relax. Six, five, and rest. Good job, we've got one more round of both. Okay, walking Romanian deadlifts. Grab your dumbbells. All right, here we go, three, Two, one, let's go. Good, dig that heel down super hard like you're trying to push your heel through the floor.
Good job, good job, come on. Good work, 15 seconds. That's it, six, five. And rest, good job. Last round of that thruster. All right, here we go. Roll it up as soon as you get it there. Bridge and let's go. Three, two, one, and up. Good. Good work, 20 more seconds. Come on, and then we're moving into cardio again. That's it, squeeze for six, five, three, two, one, and 45 seconds rest. Whew. Here we go, roll those heavy dumbbells off. Good job. Throw those out of the way, we're back to cardio. So you don't trip on them, I've been there. <laughs> okay, moving into crisscross knee drives. Whew, that's a little bit wet from my back. Okay, so we're gonna start it off. Crisscross, one side knee drive. And then we switch side, okay? Let's go together in two, one, here we go. Crisscross drive. And if you wanna stay on the floor, step, drive, step, drive, okay? Just giving me that cross, and then you're adding a knee drive. Good job. You've got 10. Five, three, two, one, rest, and you've got a burpee front kick. Step or hop back. Boom, boom, front kick, okay? Just one leg, and then we go back to the burpee. All right, here we go, three, two, one. Eyes on the floor, let's go. Other leg, and just alternate your kicks. Good, dig the heel down on the leg that you're stabilizing with as you come up to help your balance. 10. Four, three, two, one, beautiful. All right, 15 seconds and we're back to crisscross knee drive. Here we go, three. Two, crisscross, one. Let's go, cross, cross, drive. Beautiful. Abs are tight. Come on, 15, 14. That's it, breathe with me. Five. Four, three, two, yes, there we go. Burpee, front kick. Big deep breath here. Fill your lungs up. Exhale, there you go, fill them up. Let's go in three, two, one, here we go. Good job, come on. Woo. You with me still? Come on, come on, I know you can do this. Nine. Three, two, one, rest. One more round. And then you got 45 seconds of rest. Woo. You're doing fantastic. Big deep breath in. Crisscross knee drive in three, two, one, let's go. Good, come on. 
Breathe. There you go, 15, come on. Get your body involved, the whole thing up. Come on, five seconds, four, three, two, one. Yes, there we go. Burpee, front kicks, you're doing amazing. Here we go in five, last round, you got this. Three, two, one, let's go. Keep it moving. You get a rest after this, work for it. That's it, go with me, 13, 12. Can you give me two more each leg? There you go, seven, six, three, two, one, and rest. We're moving into the second half of the workout now, guys. Can you believe it? You're like, yes, trust me, I can. Whew. Grab water. All right. Next move we're gonna start with is split squats. Okay, I'm gonna have one dumbbell in my hand. I'm just gonna show you first. My back leg is going to be pretty much useless. Okay, front leg doing all the work. Okay, so opposite hand has the dumbbell. You're gonna lean chest forward. Okay, and if you feel pressure in your knee, I need you to scoot that foot up a little bit. Okay, Whoop. hand out to the side if you need it. You're sitting in that front heel. Okay, if you feel it more in your quad, you might be upright here. I want you to lean like you're putting your butt back and squeezing. Okay, let's go together in two, one. Here we go. 45 seconds right here. And if you're feeling this too much in your knee, just go ahead and bend it in the back and just sit down right here. Okay, but if you can, go wide enough to where you just sit in your heel out front. Let's go there. Great job. Keep your balance. Let's go single front leg. You've got about seven, six, Three, two, one, rest, good job. Whew. All right, now come on down to the floor. Heel lift, pulses. Okay, stagger your same foot that was out front. I want it out front here as well. Okay, we're going right here. Two, one, let's go. Pulsing, pulsing, pulsing. Good job, halfway through. We're gonna switch, squeeze high here. Good job. Now in two seconds, you're gonna drop your heel, lift your toe, same positioning. Right there, come on. That same front leg is out front, but we've gone from toe to heel now. Great job. Come on, five, four, Three, two, one, rest. Good work. Same exact thing, we're switching to the other leg out front. Okay, so roll up, get your footing. Okay. Here we go in four. Three, two, one. All right, front leg, let's go. Really push the heel down. Come on. Try to stay away from your toes. Heel push. You'll feel your glute engage a lot more that way. Great job. 10 more seconds. Two, one, rest, good job. We're back down. So that same front leg is now 
in the front, okay? Starting with your heels up, and then we'll rock into toes up. Here we go, two, one, let's bridge, and go. So that other leg is just a tiny bit in front, okay? 22 seconds in, we'll switch it so that your heels are down and your toes are up. Good job, we're switching in, two, one, heels down, toes up, let's go. Same thing, push the heels. Breathe. Seven, six, five, two, one, and rest. Good job. We're swinging it back to the front leg that we started with. 20 seconds per leg, okay? So we're gonna switch halfway through. All right, front leg is out front. Let's go two, one. All right, back leg, stay there. Sit. Good job. That's it, you got five, four. Get ready to switch in two, one. Step up, switch hands, step back, and go. Good work. Almost there, come on. Six, five, two, one, and rest. Now I want you to go up one dumbbell and we're gonna equalize our toes. Okay, so we're starting heels up with both feet side by side. All right, so let's go here together. In three, two, one, same thing, feet are equal. Good, think lower cheeks are squeezing together. Five seconds and you're switching. Let's go five, three, two, one. Heels down, toes up, keep going. Up, as equal as you can get them. Squeeze, squeeze, come on. We're about to switch over to cardio. Give those glutes some work. That's it, eight more seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Lower your hips down, big deep breath. We've got 30 seconds rest. Okay, come on up. I can maneuver out of this position. All right, we've got five mountain climbers and a hop. Okay, so it looks like this. You've got one, two, three, four, five, hop, okay? Let's go in three seconds together. Ready, three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Stay here, little hop, okay? Just keep that going with yourself. Good work. 10 more seconds. Four. Three, two, one, and rest. Come on up to the top. <sighs> Jumping jack, lateral kick. One jack, one kick. Jack, kick. Are you ready? Yes, you are. Woo! Two, one, let's go. <sighs> That's it. Lean away from the kick, out, in, kick. And if you're modifying, step out, kick, out, kick, okay? Just take the jump out of it. Beautiful job. Five, three, two, one, rest. Good job, mountain climbers. Come on down. You're doing amazing. Very proud of you today for being here, for working hard with me. Five seconds. We'll start back with your mountain climbers. In three, two, one, let's go.
Good, move, move, move. Come on, push it up. Seven, six, up. Two, one, rest, good job. We're back to jumping jack, lateral kick. I'm gonna retie my shoe so I don't lose it. All right, here we go, you ready? Jumping jack, kick to the left. Two, one, let's go. Beautiful work. You're gonna leave this workout today feeling so proud of yourself. Look what you've done this week so far. Whew. Not easy workouts that you've crushed. Come on, don't slow down now. Seven, six. Three, two, very last round. Here we go. I'm gonna retie this one because it was about to come off. All right, mountain climber hops in six, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Move those knees up to the chest and then hop, freeze. Ten, nine, four, three, two, one, rest. Jumping jack, lateral kick. You're doing fantastic. Stay with me here. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, jack and kick, come on. 30 seconds, you get a nice long 45 second rest here. And we're gonna need it. We've got some good work to finish out this workout. Strong work. I know you've got this, come on. 15 seconds. Seven. Five, two, one, rest in 45 seconds rest. Take your drink, towel off for a second. I'll tell you what we've got next, okay? Uh, one big circuit, three rounds, 45 seconds per exercise, okay? Your first one, sumo, Romanian deadlifts. You can use one dumbbell or two. Okay, you're nice and wide, your toes are pointed forward. Okay, so you're bent just a little bit in your knees. Okay, squeezing, you do not have to go to the floor. All right, so if I'm here, abs are tight, shoulder blades are drawn back, we're here. If you can stop here and go right back down and keep it more of a pulse, you can do that. If you wanna come all the way up, Give your back a break, you can do that, okay? Sumo deadlifts. After that, we're going into baby step Romanian deadlift pulses, okay? I'll show you that when we get there. We're starting in 10 seconds with your sumos, okay? We've got four, three, two, one. Let's go, hinge it back. Keep your shoulder blades tight. Keep your abs tight. Try not to arch your lower back when you're thinking about pushing your hips back. Think of reaching your butt to the back wall, not sticking your butt out, okay? Good work. 15 seconds left. That's it, five, four, three, two, one. 15 seconds rest. Now, think of an alternating Romanian deadlift. We're going here, here, okay? Tap the toe right back to the heel. Come up halfway, tap hinge, tap hinge, okay? Ready, two, one, let's go. Just tap it back a little. Same thing as with your walking deadlifts, you're just Tapping the front leg has all the weight in the heel. Back 
That's it. 12 more seconds. Five, four, two, one, and rest. And your last one is body weight, okay? Come down to all fours. You're gonna take one leg out to the side. One, two, three. When you're done with number three, three mountain climbers. And then switch. Okay, ready? Let's go. Three to the side. One, two, three. Mountain climber. One, two, three. Straight out from your hip. Your toes pointed to the front. Your heels lifted high. Good job. 15 seconds. Eight, seven, four, three, two, one, and rest. Let's go round number two. Same thing, sumo deadlifts. All right, get your dumbbells ready. Pulse, if you can, come all the way up if you need to. Two, one, let's go. Good job. Close your eyes if you need to. Squeeze the butt. Think about going back, forward. Twelve more seconds. Four, three, two, one. And rest. Baby tap backs with your Romanian deadlift. You're doing great. Here we go in two, one, let's go. And you can bend your front leg just a little bit, by the way. Okay, so. It doesn't have to be locked out. It can be just a little bit softly bent. Fifteen seconds. I know you're tired. I know you're breathing heavy, but I know you're strong. Come on, nine, eight, three, Two, one, very proud of you. Let's head back to the straight leg, lateral lift. And I wanna make sure it's straight out to the side, not to the back, out here. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Heel lifts high. Okay, so notice I'm not here. All right, I'm pulling it straight out, flexing my toe towards my knee, and hitting where I really feel it at the top of my glute. Good job, 15 seconds. Good, let's go, let's go, seven, six, Three, two, one, and rest. And we've got one more round of everything we just did. Sumo deadlifts first. Let's go. If you can lift heavier, lift heavier. I need your technique to be everything perfect. Okay? Two, one, let's go. Your body is tight. Glutes are powerful. Come on, show me, show yourself how strong you are. Let's go.
Good, you've got 10. Push through the shakes, squeeze harder. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Throw those back, go a tiny bit lighter for your baby tap back pulses. Whatever you can keep your back strong with. Let's go. Four, three, two, one. Here we go. Come on. Dig the front heel into the floor. It's okay if your knees bent a little bit, but I need your back to be strong and flat. Beautiful. You've got 15 seconds. Finish strong. Seven, six. Two, one. Beautiful job. Let's finish it out. Three pulses, three per leg, mountain climbers, and we're done. I need you to lift and squeeze hard. Let's go. Left leg out to the side. Two, one, lift it. Three, two, and go. Good. That's it. Now stay on the leg that you're at. Keep it there. No more mountain climbers. Stay here for 10, nine. We're gonna switch in eight, seven, five, four. Three, stay here. Two, stay here. One, switch. 15 seconds to hold and lift. Flex your toe to your knee. Heel is straight out from your hip. Let's go, don't stop, don't stop. Seven, six, five, keep it up. Four, two, one, and come back to your hands and knees. You have made it to your cool down. Whew. All right, sit your hips back, back, back over your calves and your heels and just relax forehead to the mat if you can relax your spine is what i'm going for here so if you want to put your head in your hands you can do that just relax your neck relax your spine big deep breath in one more big deep breath in great job come up onto your hands and knees all right, take that left foot up top. Push, push, push your hip down towards the floor. And I want you to keep your hips very square here. Keep your knee tucked in. Keep your hip digging down on that back leg side. Think about stretching your chest forward like you're trying to show your chest bone to the wall in front of you. Push forward, hip down. Great job. Come back, hands are down on the mat. Tuck your back toe down and lift both legs up. Keep your front foot flat and push your chest down towards the floor. <sighs> Stick around with me for this cool down. It's gonna be very crucial for your recovery, okay? All right, kick that leg back. You're in a pike position and let's switch it over. Opposite leg out front. Keep that knee right in front here. So make sure it doesn't go out to the side. I just want you to keep it in here and drop your hip down. Chest bone towards the wall in front of you. Push it down right here. Great job today, guys. Very good work. I'm so proud of you for working so hard. I feel like I'm gonna be sweating for the next two hours. I am just dripping on this gray mat. Just makes it even more beautifully apparent, right? <laughs> All right, a little bit deeper. Push your chest forward. Push, 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 push. Four, three, two, one, tuck your back toe, lift the hips, keep the flat front out front, chest towards the floor. Really get into that front hamstring. Great job, walk it into the middle here and turn your toes towards the front. Okay, and then I just want you to drop down as low as you can here in the middle. If you can hang your head, let's do it. If you're not there yet, come up on your hands. Okay, if you're not there yet, hands are just on your thighs. Just want you stretching out your hamstrings.
Beautiful. Let's walk it over. Bending your right leg. Turn your left toe up to the ceiling. Great job today, guys. And switch it over. Slide and walk over. Good, come back in the middle. Let's turn back to that pike position, okay? Take your left ankle, put it on your right knee. Walk it back in, start to bend that back leg. Okay, and stay right here. There you go. Beautiful job, clock just rolled out to zero. I'm gonna walk you back out, switch legs, and this is the last stretch, okay? Walk it back in, bend your back leg. There you go. You wanna drive that knee down to the floor. And it'll work just as well if you're not ready for this position yet. If you can just cross your foot over on the ground, it'll work just as well if you're not there yet, okay? But go ahead and drop the foot down to the floor and we're just gonna roll it on up slowly. Guys, I'm so proud of you today. <sighs> Big deep breath. I want you to grab some water after this. I want you to continue stretching and moving. If you're sore, you will not get any less sore by sitting and waiting for it to go away, okay? So I want you to keep moving, keep stretching. I've got almost 200 stretches here on the channel for you. I post one every single Sunday, so make sure you are using them. They're only going to benefit you, literally, they are only going to make you better. That's it. You can't stretch to where it's going to hinder anything like your performance unless you sit and stretch for a very long time right before a workout in a static set, stretch type of motion. That's why in our warm up, we're moving, we're dynamic. Okay, that's the kind of warm up stretch you need. But post workout and anytime except for right before the workout, those stretches will be perfectly beneficial to help you sleep, to help you move better here on the mat or here in our workouts without injury. Okay, they are so, so, so beneficial, even mentally, just to calm down and tune in with your body, okay? So please don't forget the importance of those. Know how much I appreciate you as a community. Guys, I know the sky is the limit for us, and I know that with this heartfelt passion to just make fitness accessible to more people, everyone, everywhere, all around the world, I know together we're gonna make that happen, okay? My mission is to make sure everyone knows that fitness is not a privilege. It's not something where you have to be in a certain location or have a certain amount of money or be this type of person, like work out this type of way or this type of way or have this fitness ability. Fitness here with me is accessible for everyone, okay? I'll give you modifications for different fitness levels. I'll make sure that you don't need a ton of equipment so the budget is not like, hey, to work out with Sydney, I need $700, right? It's everyone everywhere has access to fitness and that's my goal. So if you could help me out with that goal and share this channel, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Even if you use the workouts every day, your subscription, just clicking that button down there really, really helps us get these workouts out to more people. Okay, so every day I'll ask you, please subscribe, and it just means you'll get a notification from YouTube, but also YouTube sees that, and they say, hey, people like these workouts, people like this trainer, we're gonna show these to more people, we're gonna recommend them to more people, and that's how we, as a community, grow with this mission that everyone deserves fitness, and everyone is an athlete. Okay, so thank you for helping me in this mission. It wouldn't be possible without you, and Dustin and I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for letting us help you and be a part of your journey. Before you head out today, make sure you like this video, give it a big thumbs up right here, and subscribe to the channel. Comment below what was your favorite move today. I will see you tomorrow. I love you. Thank you. Bye.